From the startup menu, I'm going to choose the HTML5 canvas type. In the properties panel, I'm going to change the width and height of my stage to 750 by 300. We can change the preview size of our stage over here with this drop down. I'm also going to lay down some guides by going to View, choosing Rulers, and then dragging and dropping from the rulers to lay down some guides. These will be useful when I bring in a lot of images. Next, let's import some images. Choose File, Import, and then Import to Stage. I've got a few PNG images that I've already prepared. I'll choose the sky one first, as we're going to use that for our background. As you can see, there's a lot of overlap, but that's going to be just fine. I'm going to change the name of this layer to sky by double clicking on the layer name. Next, I'll choose the Create New Layer icon, create a new layer, and we'll call this one Mountains. And then we'll import in the Mountain PNG. Notice that I created the new layer before I imported in the new image. That way each image is on a separate layer. You can adjust the position of the stage by holding down the space bar. Okay, that's about where I want the mountains and things are looking good. We still have one more image to bring in. Again, I create the layer first. We'll call this layer trees. File, import, import to stage, and I'll grab that final image. And there we go. One thing I should check is I'm going to go to Publish Settings, Sprite Sheet, and then uncheck Combine the Images into a single Sprite Sheet. Then I'll choose Control and Test. And there you go. You can see our image in the Chrome browser.